But first, let's get to the new boss himself, DNC Chairman Tom Perez. Mr. Chairman, thanks so much for joining us. Pleasure to be with you, Jake. So I know your voice is from uh, yep. a vigorous campaigning. Yeah. Yep. So uh, nobody at home should uh, sound any alarms. Yeah. Uh, yep. But I, I want to ask you, President Trump told CPAC on mm -hmm. Friday that the Republican Party from now on will be the party of the American worker. And in November, mm -hmm. President Trump carried white voters without a college degree, working class voters, by a staggering 37 percentage points. What is your plan to win mm -hmm. these voters back into the Democratic fold? We, we lead with our values and we lead with our actions. We talk to them about how literally hours into the Trump administration, he was a fraud. He made it harder for first time home buyers to buy a home hours into administ his administration. Days later, he made it harder to save for retirement. He nominates a justice, a judge for the Supreme Court who wants to eviscerate collective bargaining. When we lead with our values as Democrats and talk about what we've done to make sure we're protecting Social Security, protecting Medicare, growing good jobs in this economy, if you want good jobs, elect a Democrat. That's the message that we have to communicate. It's a message that is true. It resonates in every zip code, and, and that's what we're going to be doing all over this nation, leading with our values, leading with the facts. And the facts are Democrats grow the middle class, Democrats protect economic security, and we need to do a better job of communicating that message everywhere. I know you're probably reluctant to criticize Hillary Clinton, mm -hmm. but are you of the opinion that her campaign did not talk about those economic values sufficiently, instead focusing on the perceived character flaws of the current president? Well, certainly we have to do a better job um, as a Democratic Party of messaging what we stand for. We have to make sure that we're out there everywhere talking about how we're the party of good job creation. We're the party of middle class security. We're the party of inclusion. We believe our diversity is our greatest strength. And when we lead with these values, I believe we succeed because those are the values of the American people. That's why you see millions of people out there marching in the aftermath of January 20th saying, Donald Trump, you don't stand for our values. That's why you see, for instance, yesterday in Delaware, there was a big election for a, a state Senate seat, and it, would, it, it was the seat that held this state Senate in the balance. And it was a great example of that activism we've seen, Jake, coming into fruition. Our revolution, the DNC, grassroots activists came in to help elect Stephanie Hansen by a whopping 16 percent. This is the definition of the DNC and the Democratic Party coming together to make sure we help elect candidates from the state house to the Senate to the school board. And I am so excited about what happened there and yet yesterday in Delaware. We've got up opportunities right here in Atlanta where I sit today. Uh, Congressional 6, mm -hmm. which is Cobb County. Uh, we're going to take the fight there. Yeah. And, and, and people ask me all the time, Jake, how do you translate the energy out there, Tom, into action and results? We did exactly that in Delaware yesterday, and we're going to work like heck to do that here in, in Georgia and elsewhere. Sir, it's very exciting to see the energy. I want to ask you uh, about a tweet from President Trump this morning about <laughs> the DNC chair's race. He wrote, quote, the race for DNC <laughs> chairman was, of course, totally rigged. Bernie's <laughs> guy, like Bernie himself, never had a chance. Clinton demanded Perez. I wanted to give you an opportunity to respond. Well, you know, Congressman Ellison and I got a good kick out of that. Donald Trump up again in the morning tweeting about us. You know, our unity as a, a party is our greatest strength, and it's his worst nightmare. And frankly, what we need to be looking at is whether this election was rigged by Donald Trump and his buddy Vladimir Putin. And I'll tell you, having Jeff Sessions oversee such an investigation, it's really unfair to any foxes across America to say that would be the fox guarding the hen house. We need an independent investigation because that is a serious, serious issue. And the American people need to understand whether the Russians in cahoots with the Trump folks and others rigged the election. And when, when Sessions and Flynn are out there together campaigning, they clearly lack the authority and the objectivity to conduct that investigation. So we need an independent investigation. All right. Chairman Perez, thank you so much and congratulations, sir. Great to be with you.